Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Canadian Dollar Tree haul for you. I know. So I was in Canada and I found two Dollar Trees and I went to them. It's my winter coffee cup. Spring is coming guys, spring is coming. Um, so I really did a good job in Canada and I wanted to show you because I don't think I went to a Dollar Tree last year. Um, to be quite honest with you, but I sure did uh, this year. Is this right? I don't know how to put one of these hats on. I feel like you go this way. Okay. This is for Canada Day. Right? So Canada Day is coming. And um, let me get this off of here. I don't need to be Minnie Pearl. And if you're my age, you know who Minnie Pearl is. So, um, Canada Day is coming July 1st, and that is their celebration. Like, we have 4th of July, they have Canada Day, but I got a lot of Canadian stuff. And we're going to wear this hat in honor of Canada. Okay, what did I buy? M remember when I said I was looking for one of these for my resin? So, this is an umbrella for, like, a pop-up umbrella. You put it over food at a picnic. But with the cats and doing resin, I'm going to put it over my resin while it's drying, right? To keep the boy's fur from getting into the resin while it's curing. Alex, you be nice to him. By the way, I love these things. They pull up like this and then you just pop it and it goes down. So I found one in Canada. So I don't need one now. How exciting. Um, it's just a mishmash. There is just, just all the things. And then fun fact, some of the stuff I found, I then found at our store, like this. This is a fashion doll. It's a Barbie toy. Do I need a Barbie toy? I do not. But do I need this one? Oh, I do. It's a kayak. And guess who goes kayaking? I do. Ooh. And there is even a little life jacket to put on Barbie. Stop it. And then you put her in, it closes up, right, on her, and then you put her hands in here and she can paddle. Uh, this is probably gonna go with me this summer when I go kayaking, not gonna lie. Um, and maybe I will let it float in the, in the river. I know. And then we have a little life jacket for for Barbie, I don't know if it it snaps open and then closes on her body. Yes, so you snap it open like this and then you close it on her person, on her Barbie body. Uh, but I'm so taking this kayaking with me. I don't have a Barbie, so that's not coming, but that is coming. All right, now. I found, they had these in gold and silver, and I cannot remember if our Dollar Tree had these last year or, ooh, okay. We don't wanna glue that back on, but it was to hang it, but it's fine. It's a gold, it's metal. I mean, this is a heavy duty golden star. But I feel like we might've had them last year, but I don't remember, and this just popped off soon. There's that. But I liked it, it's gold. Um, one other thing that I have found at the Canadian Dollar Tree is that they have um, recollection stuff at their Dollar Tree, and that is Michael's brand, which is interesting to me. I've not seen that at ours. And their Dollar Trees have, their bags have a little Canadian flag on them. I did have to pay for the bags. That's okay. So they had, uh, from the recollections, a uh, craft tag kit for making like gift tags. So you get all the materials in the little kit. For $1.25, yeah, it says distributed for Michael's stores on the back. Now, they don't have Joanne in Canada, they have Michael's. So maybe they get their overstock, I'm not really sure. So they have this, which is gonna be fun. And also, this little sticker, I think they're stickers. Yep, dimensional stickers, a little football. I'm gonna do something fun with this. I don't know what, but something's gonna happen. And they're, I don't know if they're one sticker or 
two. Let's take them out. And these also are not, they're not Dollar Tree brand. They're EK Successor brand. Okay, so you do get, it's like puffy. So this is the sticker here. And this just sits with it, but you could glue it down. I don't, yeah. So it's two pieces. I gotta do something football related, right? Cause that'll be here in no time. I'm just putting this back so I don't lose the pieces. So the little um, football itself is puffy. You could glue it down or not. So it's a little two piece set. How sweet is that? Oh, and then I got some lip seal, some cherry to try, some cherry chapstick. Why? I don't know. Oh, even their little receipt says the, has the little Canadian flag on it. I love it. Okay, I found some of these pins, but what I would like to do is take the pin part off the back and put a magnet and make it like a stick needle minder but it's a four pack of pins. Remember, this is all, this is was in there like we would have 4th of July stuff. Hi, sir. Hi, Dubs. My baby's here to see me. Ooh, look at this. This was in their regular stuff. It's a B-Skep. And this is just their regular table decor, Greenbrier. It's called a B-Skep, which is like a beehive, but watch. It opens. So you can put like a candle or something down in there. And then it has these brass little bees all over it. I love this. I cannot wait to put this out because I love bee stuff. And it may go on my, on my patio. So I grabbed one of those because, duh. Oh, a little Canadian gnome. Right, because why wouldn't they have a Canadian gnome? I'm taking this to work for my desk at work. I love him. They had some with this and then they had a different hat, but I really feel like his hat should go that way, but what do I know? And his little arms. So I got a Canadian gnome. Oh, and I got some Canada Day socks. So they have the Canada flag on them because why don't I need maple leaf socks? Right? Oh, who's outside? Children or somebody, who knows? Uh, maple leaf socks, which this is perfect because I want to make an ornament with the maple leaf and I have a pattern, but it, the pattern was in red, but now I can use red fabric and white maple leaf. I'm going to do that. Anyway, I got a sock. Sorry, this hat is itching my head. It's also big for my head, but that's okay. Now, I got these, and I cannot remember if I've ever seen these at our store, but this is burlap. On here, I can cross stitch on this, guys. I can cross stitch right onto here and make something fun. What I'm going to make I don't know. Am I going to make something fun? Yes. Because it's burlap and it's on here. And I cannot remember. Tell me if you've seen these in the States because I don't feel like I have seen this yet here. Maybe. And it's just not at my store. Questionable. Who knows? Guys, I got a lot of stuff. Um, oh, look what I found in the cake decorating section. They're crowns. And pretty pink stuff. So it was um, coronation of King George, which is fine, but these are crowns, the little pink thing. So I got those to make cupcakes or something. Oh, I got more candy. I grabbed some Smarties. These are like our M&Ms. I grabbed some Smarties and I got my cousins another caramel milk bar, a bigger one. So I got that for them. I picked up some Maltesers, which is like a malt ball. I grabbed those for the cousins. I'm gonna show you something here in a minute. But I think that was it. Nope, nope. 
And then I got another Aero Bar. Some of this might be for Sarah too, because I got a lot of candy. Okay. Now, at the Dollar Tree, they have keychains. That's a can the Canadian Moose. I love it. I may take these off the keychain and make them like zipper pulls. And then the Canadian flag or the maple leaf with the maple leaves on it. So these are nice keychains too, nice and heavy. Uh, look at this, this is from Craft Decor. Multicraft, I don't think this is a Dollar Tree brand, but they're little tiny clipboards. What the heck? They are, do you see that? They're little tiny clipboards, guys. Now, I did take one out because it was open. When you open that up, the whole clipboard comes off, but I can use that and decorate it for something. Naughty or nice list. What the heck? So cute. And then I grabbed a pack of these, which are little stickers, but again, with the chalkboard so I can write on them or label something. And this is also craft and decor, chalkboard wood embellishments, and they're stickers. So I found those and some of this stuff I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I'm gonna do something and then these are wooden shapes I don't know if they're all girls all boys does it matter probably not yeah so they must be one whole pack of just what would they would consider female and then a pack they sold a pack of boys I didn't care I just thought they were cute and I wanted to bring them home to show you and this is again this must be a brand that they only have in Canada because I've not seen it here but it is craft medley so a lot of this stuff was this craft medley and everything in there and Canada is a dollar fifty at the Dollar Tree um I grabbed this burlap ribbon again I can cross stitch in here which I have done before and it's super fun, but you have to use a, like a lot of floss because you use six strands. But I did let freedom ring on one for, what did I just do freedom? I might've just done freedom on one for 4th of July decor. So if you see, I know we have spools of burlap. I don't know if we have it with the lace, but you can stitch on that and it's fun. And it's super easy. Um, they have these little tiny tie dye kits which I thought was fun. Um, this is for Greenbrier and it's a tie dye kit, but it's a three color and I thought it would be fun to either tie dye or I use this to dye fabric, different fabrics for whatever. So I grabbed that and then in here, it says it is a bridal emergence, a bridal emergency kit, nine piece. I've not seen this before. Um, it does say that it is for, it is Greenbrier. So you open it up like this, which I thought was fun, right? Ooh, I'm not trying to break my nails here, guys. I have pottery tomorrow. In my last spinning, my last class of pottery uh, for doing the wheel, actually I'm not even doing the wheel, but then I have two weeks off and we paint. So you get two brown elastics, hair ties. You get some bobby pins. You get a little pair of clippers. Ooh, a little nail file, but it's like it's all white and sparkly. And then a comb, which this is perfect for me because this is the kind of comb I use on the daily. How fun is that? And it all fits in this little container, this little case, which could be reused for a hundred different things, right? And then it clips up. And if you found these and you had a bride, you could personalize these with your Cricut. How fun is that? I'm obsessed with that. Um, okay, let's show you here. I brought home a Kinder Egg. Now, don't tell anybody because it's illegal. We have Kinder Joy here in the United States. So you open it up, the Kinder Joy, and you have a little toy on one side and candy on the other. I'm going to show you why these are illegal in the U.S. if you didn't know. It's because the chocolate encases the toy, right? So you open this up, this is all chocolate. And then you just break it open, it's dark brown chocolate and white chocolate. And then inside is another egg. This is not edible. 
And this is why we can't have these in the United States. It's because we can't have nice things here, okay? Um, I think the law is you can't have something embedded inside. So this came inside the chocolate, even though it doesn't even touch it. I don't know. Cocoa butter. Okay. So then you open this up and inside are little toys and you have to build the little toy. So it's for a child, obviously. Um, what's happening here? I don't even know how to put this together, but I think, and I don't have a child, so I'm not really sure how this goes, but I don't know. But you put them together somehow and then you get like a little something. I gotta figure out how this goes in here. And then you put somehow, there's directions, but you build, you build your little, there's directions. You build your little toy and then if you take it apart, you can stick it back in the little egg, right? And keep it for another day. So that is a kinder egg that we're not allowed to have. Hmm, good chocolate. Okay, yeah, so it does tell me how to put it together because I'm special. And this is, I don't know who this is, but you just put the three pieces together and you get a little figurine. So I brought one home. I broke the law for you guys. I broke the law. Um, I found, look at these. This is the canvas, right? It's canvas board, but I'm hoping, so it's four inch by 12 inch. I'm hoping there's a, there's a um, stitching I wanna do. It's called Tiny Town. And it's this shape, and I'm hoping this will be a perfect fit for it. It's just a little tiny town. Yeah, a tiny town. And I can use this to mount it. So I grabbed three of them, but I can also use this for anything. This is such a different shape that I've never seen at our stores. So I grabbed three, um, $1.50, like everything else. But And they're just the hard canvas, the not stretched canvas. Um, for... Canada Day. They had some straws with plastic pinwheels on them. And you get 10 paper, and they're paper straws. But you can take these pinwheels off and reattach them to other straws. When you're done with this straw, you can pull these off because the pinwheels, but I think they're plastic too, or paper too, but it says paper straws and there's pinwheels. I thought they were fun. Canada Day. Also, I'm dying. I am dying. Look at these napkins. It is everything quintessential Canada. It even says A at the top. I'm dying. So I grabbed these just to have because what the heck. I'm not a weirdo most days. I'm going to tell you that. And then they had these um, Canada water bottles. I just thought it was fun a little I mean there I will probably end up taking this with me when I go to the beach to keep some water in most likely but it's just a, a water bottle not microwave safe not dishwasher safe I have bought these here and they melt and they went by melt I mean they will like disfigure but I liked this one and I like because it said Canada come on let's be truthful any other Canada stuff oh yeah one more thing which could be 4th of July. And it's just um, wooden cutlery. Uh, 12 pieces, so you get four of each knife, spoon, fork. Great for picnicking, taking on the go, and they're biodegradable. Um, I feel like we may get these with the 4th of July stuff. Questionable, though. Um, I don't know. That I'm not sure about. Okay. Oh, I grabbed a lint brush because I needed one, and then I didn't use it. That's not exciting. It's a lint brush. Um, I'm dying here, guys. Dollar Tree sells knitting needles and they're circular knitting needles. Now, three millimeter, I think is a US two, I think. Uh, what the heck, Dollar Tree? I'm sure they'll get them here eventually, but I've never seen them here. So I said, oh girl, you need those. 
just to show you. I probably wouldn't knit with them, but if you're traveling and you're worried that they'll take your knitting needles, take these, because who cares? Right? Right. Um... Oh, they had these, which I thought was fun. These are chalkboard stickers. So they're the chalkboard. They actually are for chalk. They come with a piece of chalk, and then you put them on. You can label like jars or gifts or whatever. But I thought that was super fun. And you get five pieces, so you get four stickers, and they're two different sizes. So this one is larger than this one, and then you get your piece of chalk. How fun is that? I love a black and white label. I get them on the regular. Um, what is this? Oh, chalk it now paper tape. So I think it's washi, but it's chalkboard washi. So you can write on it with chalk. I know, right? I'm pretty sure. Chalkboard surface, yeah. But it's washi tape with a chalkboard surface. How fun. I love some washi tape, especially for planners. Just got a couple other little things. I found some of these natural wood slices. I feel like we've had these here before, um, but I like the size of these. I can drill holes in them now that I have a, a nifty new drill and make little ornaments or gift tags or whatever, but I thought they were just, and they're just wood slices. And this is part of that craft medley as well. I better do, uh, did I do a thumbnail yet? I don't feel like I did. right? Okay. Two more things. I think. Yes. Two things left. Perfect. A palette in wood, a paint palette. What? It's an artist palette. It's in bamboo. I would have to say this is color factory, multi craft, but you can put your paint on here and paint, or you can decorate this. If you have an artist in your life and they can um, you can make like decor of some sort, but it's, you know, it's a true artist palette. They would hold the palette like this. You would have all your paint, like your oils, and then they would mix it on this board and paint. Or if they were right hand, left-handed, they would do it this way. But I thought that was super neat. Just a paint palette. And the last thing I found, which I was shook about, is Jergens Instant Sun. They're self-tanning towels. And you get six single-use bronzing towels. I know, I've never seen that at my store. It's medium bronze sunless tanning towelette. One single-use towel, flawless natural look. Okay, so I grabbed two packets because my legs are scary white. And I'm not sitting out in the sun. So we, they came like, I mean, it's Jergens brand. This is, I use their lotion in the summertime. I know, right? Crazy. So we're going to try to self tan. Probably not a good idea for me, but we're going to try. So that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree in Canada. So I hope you enjoyed. I was super excited to bring this to you. And now I can't wait to go play with some of this stuff for my crafting. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I will talk with you later. Bye.